Hello everyone, today I want to show you in Flutter how you can enforce on the text field the lengths and also the lines. So basically what we have here is some text field and I have set already a border and a style. And now what we have here for parameters is for example max length and here we can type integer for example 20 and then hot reload and then you see here on the right side the max length which we can type. I will set it for example right now to three so that I don't need to type so much. And now if I type here three things, then you have here the max length with three characters. Then you can also write here max length and force. So you can, for example, set it here to false. And now you can even type more characters, but then you see here that you are over it and it's turning here to an error color. And you see here that you are over this number and this is what you also can do. And I will also show you how you can enforce the lines. So basically we turn it here again to true and hot reload it. And now if we type here three characters, then we can only type three characters. And we also have here some attribute which is called max lines. And then we can set here, for example, max lines, I will create a variable. So we have here, for example, five lines. To demonstrate these max lines, I will also create here another field, which is called max length. So I set this here instead of the three and I set it to 20. And now I have much more possibilities to write here something. So for example, I can add here a new line. I can add another line, another line, another line, another line, another line, another line, another line. So basically this max lines is only how many lines are visible here. So we have here always five lines visible, but it's not really enforced that we can only type five lines and I want to change it with you. So what we can do for it, we have here some other variable, which is called import. And now we can create here some formatters. Therefore I will create here a new folder, which is called formatter. And here inside I will create this max lines formatter. So I create a new file, max lines formatter. And every input formatter has to extend from the text input formatter. So we will import it here. And we will also override here this method format edit update. And we will also create here a new parameter so that we can define how many lines we want to have maximal. And I will also create this constructor here. And now we have to edit this method here. And what this method is doing, it's getting the old value of this text field here. And if we type something new, for example, I type here, this is the old value, let's say, and then I type something, then he gets here this new value. And we can then differentiate, okay, first of all, we got here GG, and later we got GGGF. And so basically what we want to look up for here is how many new lines we have. And a new line is represented here with backslash n. And then we write here new value dot text. So this is the new value which we typed. And then we type here dot length. And this will then count how many new lines we have here inside. And then I add here this value one. And in front I write here new line count. And this is like how many lines we have. So for example, here we have one line. And if I press here one time, I have two lines. If I press here another time, we have three lines. And this is the variable which is determining this value. And what we have to do is we have to check right now if new line count is bigger than max lines. And if that's the case, then we want to return the old value because we have more lines than our max lines, which we have defined. So for example, we say we want three lines and now we have here four lines put inside. Then we want to return the old value. So we don't want to take the new value. Otherwise we return here the new value. And yeah, that's basically what we need to do here. And we go to our main. I will copy this here and put this name here inside. And here we have to put the max lines. So I will create here a new variable, which is called 
Max lines force. So these are the visible lines which we have here and these are like the theoretical lines. So I put it here for example to 3 and I put it here inside. And now if we hot restart this application then you see that we can only type three lines. So I type here something, I make a new line, I type here something, I make a new line, I type here also something and I create a new line and you see I cannot type here a new line because we have forced it here to three lines and we will see five lines in total. We can also say here for example two, I will hot restart this application and now you see here that we can only type two lines and I cannot type one more. Maybe it's good if the user gets like an error message that he cannot type anymore because right now the user doesn't know that he cannot type anymore and it might be confusing for him. So what we will do, we go here inside into this class and then we write here a new callback. So I add this on lines exceeded and I put it here also inside and every time we have this error I will write here that he should call this callback. So basically if this line count is too much then we will also call this method here. So I need also to import this here and now we can go here and then we can for example show a snack bar. So I will create here below a new method which is showing a basic snack bar and I will call this method and here I have to supply the context and also a message and I write here for example only max lines forced so this is the value which we put here inside and then I write here line breaks allowed all right this should be fine um, really important is that we also put here builder around it otherwise the snack bar wouldn't work so I put here the builder inside and the context and yeah that's it what I have to do. So let's test it out. I will hot restart this application. Let's type here something so we can type two lines like we can see here and now there should be an error message or some thing only two line breaks are allowed and now the user gets every time a hint if there is some error or if I go here and also if I try to make a new line then he gets a notification about it. So now let's look also at another example. So I will type here for example max length 120 so that I can type more and yeah we have still max lines enforced too and now you see okay we type here something and then we type here something and type something and type something so I can type a lot and it looks like a lot of text and maybe you don't want that the user types so much. So basically we have still two lines so this is one line here at the top and this is also one line just without a line break and maybe you want to force the user to only allow per line maybe let's say 20 characters or something and this is what you also can enforce. So what you can do for example is to create another class. We do here the exactly the same thing. This time we call it only differently so we call it max length per line formatter. So we limit the length per line and yeah we create here a new formatter max length in line formatter and I will just copy this here because it looks almost the same. Here we have not max lines, we have every time max lengths and I will also rename this one here on max lengths exceeded and now we have to write here a little bit a new logic. So we have to get the lines so we will get here all the lines by writing new value text split and then we write here the line break inside. So now we get all the lines separately. So we get the first line here and second line for example. And now we want to check here with text that any line which we get here that it not exceeds this max length. So we say here text length should be greater than max length. So it should not exceed this length and we save it to a variable which is called max length exceeded 
And now we can check here if this max length is exceeded per line, then we return this old value. Otherwise, we allow this value to type here inside and then we return the new value. So we have this already in our main file. So we also need to copy this here, this name, and have to rename it obviously here. And I go back to this main file. And here I will import this new file which we have created. And I will also change here these variables. So I will create here a new variable which is called max length in line. I will also put it here in max length in line. And I just will write it here, for example, to 10. And we will also change here the hint message for the user. So I write here only x characters allowed per line. Okay, let's hot restart this application. And now you can test it. So for example, I write here 10 characters. Now everything is fine. And if I go over this 10 characters, which I have put here for this formatter, then I should get an error message. And here you see, I have put another one. And now he is complaining because he only wants to have 10 characters per line. And the same thing for other lines. If I type you more and I can type until the 10th character, then it's fine. He's not complaining. And yeah, if I go over the line breaks, which I have still inside, I cannot put more than two lines inside. Okay, that's about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So basically we have two parameters to sum it up. One is max lines forced, so we can find how many lines we want to have. And the second one is max length in line. And then we can define how many characters we want to have for each line. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!